ain't threatened like that. You know you're better than that bitch. <laughs> It is a great fixture with a wonderful history and the fans are getting to fever pitch. Moments away and it's live. Hi everybody, it's a lovely day for a game of football and the game of football we're about to bring you... is at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith, former England international, of course, is in the commentary box with me as usual. Premier League football we have for you, it's coming right up. Manchester City against Chelsea. I love visiting this ground, really been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Just throwing his body, wonderful save. Manchester City's lineup today. The goalkeeper is Edison. Kyle Walker starts, looking to continue his good form at the back. In attack, Sergio Aguero starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. And the referee blows his whistle. The flag was up for offside. Here's the Chelsea lineup. In goal, Kepa Arisa Balaga. Kurt Zuma starts with Andreas Christensen as the centre-backs and leading the attack, Michi Batshuayi. Now Jorginho. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Well, most teams cannot get through the way Chelsea defend their... Great individuals, but they defend well as a team. No, I think uh, the home side will have to... Threading it through. That's right! Goal, Chelsea! Well, as a goalkeeper, when you get something on it, you're always going to be disappointed if it still goes in the net, and that keeper is a bit despondent. So Chelsea in front. He's better than that. It's a poor pass. The referee has blown and he's given the free kick. For the referee, a decision here, Alan, whether to book him or not. It's an or not. Yeah, and you get some refs that flash the yellow cards after one foul early on in the match. But this ref being a bit more lenient. Out into the wide areas now. Silva. the city's free kick Alexander Zinchenko Stones Walker Sterling John Stones now it's a free kick that the referee has decided to award good defending no problem in the end Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. It's about finding the right pass now. Christensen. Loftus cheek. Willie. And now the shot. Really stretched to make the save. Top class. <laughs> Trying to move people around in the middle by going to a short corner. So we'll restart with a throw in. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Well read by the defender. Aguero. Sergio Aguero. 
De Bruyne trying to get the ball in behind. Good save. Decided that this time they're going to play the short corner. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. see the manager down there he's less than happy obviously his team's losing that's bad enough but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through that defense and make the keeper work here's kevin de bruyne good to add it's de bruyne that is silva and he's tried his shot from long range Wanted to take the responsibility, pat on the back for that. Needs a bit more power and a bit more direction. I have seen him find the net from that distance. Problems here for Manchester City. They are problems that can be solved, but the longer it goes on, maybe the more desperate they might become. They've still got uh, a few minutes left in the first half. And of course, all of the second half to see if they can sort this out. Is indicated We're hearing there will be three added minutes, minutes. here. That's Filiqueta. Michi Bacuai. Pulisic. Good deep cross towards the far post. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. Chelsea to start this second half then. Pulisic. Conte. Batshuayi. Ngola Conte. And it's going to be an attacking move this from Chelsea. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Now Mares coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this. The coverage of the Premier League fixture, Manchester City. They'll be facing Newcastle United away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Able to intercept here. They're looking to get to him and take the ball from him. So we're going to see a double switch now. Marcos Alonso anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Alan, what about Chelsea's next game? Yeah, they're playing West Ham United in their next match. And the two managers have summed it up. I think there's not going to be much between them. Christensen. Angola Conte. Here's William. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. William Conte he can cut it back now the keeper stops it there could be a follow up now well now they've got the ball what are they going to do with it good to act trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress they were right at the opposition then but it's broken down disappointingly Conte Chelsea defending now for their lives are they inviting pressure Alan well I know in some parts of the world they call this tactic lock up shot we know it more as parking the bus but it's the same end result just try and see this one out defensively Looking to get the ball forward here. Manchester City. Olivier Giroud. Could have been in, really, until the interception. And it's Giroud they're looking for with these crosses. Well defended, not just getting across. Giroud! 
Well, the reward is a goal for winning the ball high up the pitch. Well, we could see it coming, I think. I think even the team that's just conceded could see it coming because they kept on losing the ball in dangerous areas there. Well, he took it off, didn't he, the shot? And uh, had a go first time into the net. Well, he did take a chance. When you hit them first time like that, the keeper doesn't get a chance really quite often to get set, and that was the case here. Quick into the tackle, and the result is going to be a throw. Number 26, Riyad Mahrez, to be replaced by number 19. Manchester City Osana. trying with all their might to get something from this game, but they're still behind in the closing minutes. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Time nearly up here, and just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Well, Manchester City go up against Newcastle United after this and uh, well if they play like this they're not going to get much out of it Sterling and the assistant signals for the throw it's good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept did well stuck out a foot and cut off the pass an opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Well, we're down to the last minute here. The the players place another minute. two minutes two added minutes. on by the referee. Two. And a try one now. Pedro out and pushed out by the goalkeeper. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make Giroud. It's another one for them. They go further in front and they are full value for this position. Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It confirms the win. Yeah, I think the goal scorer would be pleased. Another one for, for his tally right on the match. This is St James's Park, the historic home of Newcastle United. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Premier League football for you very shortly. It's Newcastle United against Manchester City. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first ten minutes, how these teams approach the task. 
and he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. Newcastle United's lineup. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Paul Dummett starts alongside Florian Lejeune in defence. Only one up front in terms of an out and out forward. Well, just checking on the table, we can confirm what you know already, of course, that three points would be enough for the visiting team here to go top. Well, they've been pretty good, haven't they? More than pretty good, really. Very consistent. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Manchester City's lineup today. The goalkeeper is Edison. Kyle Walker starts, looking to continue his good form at the back. In attacks, uh, it's a quick break. Good defensive clearance there. Well, if they're going to do well here at Manchester City, and obviously they hope they'll do well, he could make the difference. Four goals in his last three games. Pretty impressive stuff, you have to say. It's really passive play at the moment by the defending team. Chance to get the ball in the box. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Great connection with the shot, and the goalkeeper's done just as well with the save. This could be promising. Well, they've got the opposition on the back foot with this break. They're coming at them with numbers. Not trying to catch this cross. He's punched it away. Aguero. is with De Bruyne. Saw that coming and intercepted. John Stones. Silva. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. Aguero. Cher. John Joe Shelby. And Newcastle on the attack. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. No threat now. Mistake by the opposition. They could be in now from this position. Miguel Almiron. Can he shoot? Saved, but not decisively. In the end, good defending, really. Put him off his shot. Yeah, he did have to take it quickly, to be fair. Here's Zinchenko. Silva. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Coming inside. The shot is blocked. Yeah, look at that. Virtually even Stevens. It's very difficult to separate these two sides, both for possession and chances created for quality. Really tight. Are we going to get a winner? Good tackle. Riyad Mahrez. Can really get at the opposition here. Really drilled across towards his teammates. Well, that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Gunduan. Silva. The official has indicated there will be a minimum It's De Bruyne. No way through for the shot. Blocked. Now Fernandinho, so it's half-time and we're still waiting for that first goal. I don't like to be negative about a great player, but David Silva disappointed on this showing so far. Yeah, I think that's fair. I mean, look at the amount of times he's touched the ball. It just hasn't been enough, whether he might push forward a little bit to make a difference in this match.
We're all ready for the second half, and so too are Manchester City. Now De Bruyne. Silva. Here's Zinchenko. Moving it nicely and productively here. And it's Silva just unable to keep it this time. Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this. The coverage of the Premier League fixture. Newcastle United. They'll be facing a real chance to go in front. That's a good stop from the goalkeeper. Now Mares. Looking ahead, Alan, Manchester City's next game. Well, they're playing Burnley in their next match. And looking at them, there's little between. De Bruyne! Keeper's done very well here. <laughs> Trying to catch them out by going short. Men in there to try to convert this cross. And the keeper can collect this one. De Bruyne. Gundogan. Well, sitting back, it's a bit of a policy here. And letting the opposition come at them. Risky. Sterling. Just be in here from that little chip pass. In with a chance. Can he pick somebody out with this pullback? And there was danger, but he's cleared it. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Looped over the defenders for the forward to chase. And he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. John Joe Shelby. Miguel Almiron. I think the cross is on. Opportunity now. That's even better play to stop the chance. Steered through. You can see the deflection there. Corner. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. He was pretty poor out there today. Limited chances, the defence. Decent distance from the punch from the goalkeeper. Leroy Sane. Chance to cross it. Cabrera! Hit the post! Just rushed it a little bit. Could have relaxed a bit more. And he seemed to be off balance when he hit it. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. De Bruyne tackled well. Now there is some space in the wide area. The break is definitely on. He wants to shoot, you can see that. Well, he thought he might catch the goalkeeper out expecting a cross. One of those, maybe you hope to squeeze it through the keeper's legs. Kyle Walker. Oh, it's still goalless here. Not much time left. What about their next game, Alan? Well, Newcastle United go up against Fulham. They fought pretty hard, but haven't hit top gear, so I think they'd be fairly pleased if this finishes level. Newcastle want to make this substitution now. Cross has gone straight to the defender, who's... Got time for an extra touch. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Four more minutes. It's Aguero. That's an important clearance. Keeper's got good distance with that kick. It is going to be a change here.
And it looks like a strategic one. Well, what will this mean for the team? They're going to bring two new players on. Strong piece of defending and clearing. Room for the cross. He worked so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. Oh, that is the final whistle. And it's finished level. Can he shoot? Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming right up. Leeds United against Arsenal. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Leeds United starting the game, they've kicked off. Check for you on the Leeds United lineup. Jack Harrison plays with Pablo Hernandez out wide, and today it's just the one striker in the side. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. This is the Arsenal lineup. Bernd Leno starts in goal. Skodran Mustafi starts alongside David Luiz. And Ozil! Saved, but not decisively. Grasped in the end by the goalkeeper, finally, after a frantic piece of play, which included a remarkable save just a, a moment or two earlier. You thought for all the world like there was going to be a goal there, and they should have been more clinical with the second chance in the end. Simple for the keeper. This team that are at home today have been firing blanks for most of the season, and they need to get some ammunition going, don't they? Well, you can blame the forwards, but you know the service to them has been shocking at times. Good defending, no problem in the end. Pablo Hernandez treading it through. Space for the shot. Some save that. Well, that is sheer instinct. His reflexes there were incredible. Corner swung in. Gets it away from the goal with a punch here. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Here's Phillips. Well, that's a clear foul by David Luiz. Referee's shown the card, it's yellow to the Arsenal man. Yeah, and uh, the referee's angle is perfect. He had a great view. This lad tends to put a bit of whip on these free kicks. 
needs it here. Brilliant. Def That's a decent stop from the goalkeeper, but they would have hoped to have tested him more. Yeah, a few disappointed looks from his teammates there. The lad who might have scored. Shokdran Mustafi. Maybe took his eye off the ball. And Phillips. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. Pablo Hernandez. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? It's a dangerous piece of defending, really. Under some pressure straight away. Throw in to come. To Harrison. And the referee lets them go on. Advantage played by him. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. With good vision. Abana yeah. Decision is a throw. It's a fair tackle. Could be a cross here, it could be dangerous. Now Danny Ceballos. Now with Lacazette. Must take the lead here. Well, he's missed the target by some distance in the end. Well, I don't know if they've come into this match with the wrong attitude, but it's not been their true selves today. Not creating anywhere near enough chances, as you can see. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. and he's given the free kick well a real treat in store for you coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture well, safe hands from the goalkeeper there not the most demanding save but it had to be made yeah easy though to take it a little easy take your eye off the ball plenty of width for the team to attack into Lacazette he's kept it out corner and here's a possibility of making a chance to go in front. No challenge for the goalkeeper with that shot. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Of two minutes of added time. To Harrison. Fences his chances and getting threads it through. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. Referee sees that as a foul, and it is a free kick. Well, we're halfway through. And here we go. The referees blown his whistle. And we're off for the second half. Lacazette. Trying so hard to make the opening there. Nearly. Pablo Hernandez. And Phillips. Augustin. Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? They're playing Brighton and Hove Albion in their next match. And I think it could go either way. Read the intentions. Opportunity in a wider area. Ceballos. His Bayerin. Pepe. Mesut Ozil. Okay. This is how they love to play on the break. Can he do it? Brilliant goal!
the side that has the form and indeed you would think the better players are doing well at the moment they've got a goal and they're beginning to boss proceedings yeah they're moving the ball about better martin certainly getting good delivery in from those wide areas the much stronger side so to confirm arsenal are ahead so easy in possession in goes the cross got his head to it well but no power well to to get there first to find some space but didn't apply the finishing touch a chance to break away now on the counter frustrating for them really that was the opportunity to play on the break but it's broken down on the attack here cleared away by the defender and the equaliser here and they've got this equaliser always gets involved this manager loves to hug his players after a goal great scenes oh you've got to hand it to them many would have given up on this situation but they've scored against the better team and they might get something out of this match now So away we go at one all. Goal for Leeds United. Number 29, Jean Kevin Augustin. Here's Berin. Can they find Aubameyang? That's what they're trying to do. And he takes it on with a shot at goal here. What a fine save. And it will be their throw. Well, they've decided to make a change. There's activity down there amongst the substitutes, and one will be coming on. Maybe a bit of a sighter, but it was a strong effort. I have seen him score from those kind of distances. Well, what a good game he's having to this point, Alan. Well, you've only got to look at that graphic to see how effective he's been. And there's been an end product as well. Got a goal. That looked very good indeed, but the move was broken down. Pablo Hernandez. Nicola Pepe. Augusta. Good vision. It was a promising situation. That's a fine catch by the keeper. Now Lucas Torreira. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Must take the lead here. High-class goalkeeping. And late in the game, he's kept his team in it. It's still level. Well, the best keepers make great saves at vital times. And, well, that was all of those things there. Looking for a through ball. Saved by the keeper. Not decisively. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Well, he took that chance away really clinically to put his team on level terms. So we'll... well, this could be an opportunity in behind the defence. Trying to get in behind just a little too eagerly then. He could give the defender a yard, you know, and still get there. Yeah, an easy one for the linesman that clearly offside. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. Well, we're down to the last minute here. Arsenal giving it everything in the pursuit of a winning goal. That's the final whistle from the referee, and nothing between these two teams. All credit to everyone involved here. The game could have been called off, really. They played it, and aren't we... And the referee lets them go on. Advantage played by him.
A fixture that's always very hard to take your eyes off, and this ought to be no exception. Manchester United and Tottenham, two of the most popular clubs in England, and they're ready to face each other next, live on EA TV. Well, you can certainly feel the excitement tonight here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United up against Tottenham Hotspur. All right, Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. Pereira, thank you, old chap. Enjoy the game. It is on the must-visit list of most football fans, Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams, but often a chamber of horrors for away sides, Lee. Well, it's an awesome, classic old English stadium, and I used to love playing here. Had a few good hidings here, I must say, but it was one of those grounds that you look forward to coming to. Bruno Fernandes. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. The highly proficient David De Gea starts in goal. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And Anthony Martial is the main striker today. Martial! And he got to it fairly easily. Sissoko. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season, highly competitive, especially at the summit. Yeah, plenty of teams in the hunt hoping to lift the trophy at the end of the season. I think most fans, Derek, particularly the new... Harry Kane slips it through. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. Here is Fred. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, how'd you stop him? Four goal. He's got to score! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And the last match for Manchester United was a success story as they won against Aston Villa. What's in store for them today, Lee? Well, 3-1 at home is never a bad result. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Well, that was close to free-kick perfection, Lee. Yeah, just didn't quite get enough dip on it, did he? Over the wall, but just over the bar as well. Pogba. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Pereira, and that's an important intervention. Ndombele. Son. And a throw in forthcoming. Pereira. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Low one in there. And it's gone behind for the corner. Corner kick played over. And he takes on the shot. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. marks for that pass Kane bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card yes agree with that one Derek he's got to be careful now and a goal kick is the outcome and don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Manchester City. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Aurier. Teammate in support. Oh, it's off the post. 
Well, they were so, so close there to taking the lead, but the woodworks, the goalkeeper, wonderfully weighted pass. Pereira. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Deli Ali. Well cleared away. Pereira. Juan Bisaka. Anthony Martial. Davis, Kane, Ndombele. The object of the exercise from the Spurs point of view is to get it forward, and they're doing that rather well. Lucas! And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in, tactics have got to change. Well, sometimes goals happen on the training ground before the game. I'm sure they practice this. Great movement, great cross, perfect goal. Underway once more. Tottenham have the lead. Number 27, Lucas. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Williams we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here just not looking confident in possession excellent vision Deli Ali just needs to stay composed well they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper that was inspirational well that's as good as a goal at the other end brilliant save from the keeper and over comes the corner and it all counts for naught and that will do it for the first half. Just a free kick perfectionally.